Guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will talk about switch statement in PHP. So, firstly, guys, I will make a variable and I will give it a name of language. And I am talking about programming language. So, I will already write the name of a programming language. I will write PHP. And now, after this, I will show you the syntax of switch statement. So, I will write switch. It's which, uh, which is a keyword and then two brackets and then two curly brackets guys in between this bracket we'll write the name of this variable means which variable we want to test so now in between these two curly brackets firstly we'll write case which is also a keyword then I'll write PHP and then colon then after that what you need to perform means if the case is PHP means if the language is equal to PHP I will echo it out so I'll write language is PHP now after that we'll write break and then semicolon means firstly case then you need to write some name of a language means it will compare it will it with this condition means if the language is equal to PHP then it will echo this statement out otherwise we'll make one more case and I will give it a name of JavaScript and then colon then echo so I write language is JavaScript now guys we will go to the browser and refresh you can see language is PHP because here language is PHP so it is printing this statement so if I'll change it to JavaScript refresh you can see language is JavaScript means it is comparing it is checking this variable value means if the value is JavaScript this case will be executed oh sorry I forgot to use the break statement refresh now guys if I will write some other language like uh, I will write Java Java is not here not here now what will happen refresh nothing will be displayed so in this case we will use default statement means if no case is true then we'll write we we'll use a, a default statement I'll write uh, no language selected and then break you can see no language selected means if uh, this variable is not equal to any case then this default statement will be executed now guys I will show uh, I will tell you the what is the main uh, advantage of using switch statement instead of using else if statements guys when this condition will be true suppose I'm writing here PHP refresh language is PHP now firstly it will go to this case means this block if the case is PHP means if the condition is true here it will echo it out and then it will break this means it will come out from the program it will not go to next case and then last case means if the condition is true it will come out from the program and it will in this way it will increase the speed of your programming it will increase the function uh, speed of your website in this same way JavaScript if the refresh language is JavaScript means firstly it will go to this case and after that it will go to this case condition is true it will print this statement and it will break it means it will come out from the program but in if you will talk about else if statement it will move from top to bottom means whether the condition is true or false it will uh, means loop through every block but in the in if you'll talk about switch statement it will immediately break it and it will come out from the program in the in uh, it will come out from the program means it will in this way it will increase the speed of your website so this is the main advantage of using switch statement so guys this was about switch statement if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos so let's see in the next one